Okay, from funnels, we're going to go to emails, and I'm going to show you the different emails you can send from System.io. So if we go here to emails, you see newsletters and you see campaigns. So a newsletter, we're going to start with that one. It's just a simple email that is sent once to your contacts according to their tag. So, for example, if you say, I want to send a newsletter to all the people who um, opted in for my baby sleep chart, and you click on create, and then you see here the subject, and as you can see here, um, there's some information, I'm going to talk about that later. You put the subject, this is just for you. The sender name, you could say like uh, Sirena counting C's for example, the email that is going to be sent form, and then you can choose different forms of visual editor or the classic editor. I don't know if it's true, but a lot of people say that uh, emails come better through when you use the classic editor, so when it's just an, an email and not uh, fancy with the uh, pictures and, and videos and everything. I don't know. I most often choose the classic editor to be sure that emails arrive, which is really important. But you could track that as well if you want to say like, oh, no, I want to have a nice heading and um, uh, do like what a lot of marketeers are doing. So classic editor, we're gonna, I'm going to show you that. You click on save. Oh, we need a subject. Um, what should we do? Update on your baby sleep chart. I don't know why, <laughs> just make that up. So as you can see now, if we click on it, you can write here the email. So for example, hi, and especially because we're collecting always the first name, hi, first name. Uh, I wanted to share with you an exciting blah, 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 blah. And then you can end that. And what you can do is add an attachment, uh, the contacts now, and this is the most valuable part. And this is why tags are so important. Because what you can do now is say, I want to send this to everybody who has the tag baby sleep chart. And you can say, I don't want to send it to people who have the baby sleep chart, but also the travel sleep guide. So for example, if somebody buys the travel sleep guide and signed up for the baby sleep chart, and then you're like, you want to upsell the people on the baby sleep chart, the travel sleep guide... You would not want the people who already bought it to also receive that email. So you can say, I want everybody who opted in for baby sleep chart to receive this email, except the people who also have this tag of travel sleep guide. So this is very, very, um, it's an amazing tool to really select the, the people you want to you wanna reach out to. And um, then what you can do is you click on save. You click on save and test. If you click on that, you're going to see it's going to be sent to your email so you can see what it looks like. For the test email, it's always going to say, hi, first name. That's not happening when you're really sending it out. So just be aware of that. And then you can make changes. You can save and test again and keep doing that. And then save and send. It's immediately being sent to all the people with those tags. Or you can say save and schedule and you prep it for a certain day, a certain time that it has to be sent. So that's that's really valuable. But a newsletter is a one-off uh, email. So we're going to exit this. We're going to delete this. Oh no, I cannot delete this. Oh yeah, that, that's the only annoying thing. <laughs> the newsletter once you've created. So what you can do if you start your first newsletter or you send out an email... Just click on this one and uh, update it. Change the title so you don't have this weird email here now in your in your list that you never sent. But what you can do is you see the selected tags. You can see how many emails have been sent, how many have been opened. And I also always make sure to, almost always make sure to put a link in it because then you can see, oh, they opened it, but did they click on the link? Did they click to see more? Uh, and this gives a lot of uh, information as well. And then once it's sent, you can also decide to say, like, I want to send it again to everybody who didn't open it. So there's so many options. It's amazing. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is email campaigns. And as you can see, I've set up four email campaigns. So what's happening if they opt in in your baby sleep chart or they buy your travel sleep guide or one of the other guides, they're going to be sent an email. So if we look at the baby sleep chart, for example, uh, this is a campaign I created. And if we click on it, here's the email. Here's your baby sleep chart. Hi, thank you so much for your download. If you have any questions, PS, may I ask how old is your baby? You can just hit reply to this email. I always try to put an incentive 
to see if they gonna reach out to me. So I have a way, a new way of connecting with them and building a deeper connection and building trust, which is very, uh, very essential for your business, of course. Now, as you can see, oh, sorry, I clicked too fast. This is one email. What you can do is immediately after, say, create, and you create a second email. I'm not gonna do it now because you're gonna end up with a lot of emails that you're not gonna use. And then what you can do is here say, okay, I want this email to be sent after the first with one day delay. So they receive like, here's your baby sleep chart. And then the next day, 24 hours later, they receive an email that says, hey, did you have a look already? Do you have any questions? Blah, blah, blah. And then the third one is saying, a good way to use this baby sleep chart is, and then you can build up a whole sequence. So people are um, nurtured. This is why they call it nurture sequence. Nurtured with your information, your knowledge, your value, without you having to do anything for it. Now, the most important thing is not to just use it to sell, sell, sell. You want to give value. You want to give them insight because if you just do sell, sell, sell and they're not interested, they're going to go off your list, which is fine because then they're not your ideal client. But what you want to do is create free value. Give a lot so they feel like, oh, I want to be part of this. I want to see what's going on here. And then after giving a lot of value, you can do again a sales uh, pitch and then you do a lot of value again. And so you can build this out as, as much as you want. And uh, if I can suggest, I would not go work on all four of them. I would just pick one that you're like, okay, this is one that's really, and uh, for to be honest, I would always go for the free, uh, the freebie, so the baby sleep chart. How can you create like four or five emails that moving them towards whatever you want to sell? So this is a great way to, to use the email campaigns. And then if you go to statistics, then here you can see a lot of information about your email. So you can see it by the email itself, but here you can see how many emails have you been sent until you've been, uh, until you've sent 500 emails out, they're going to keep you a new user, which means that every time you send out an email, there's going to be a delay of one or two hours because the people from system IO check if it's not spam because they want to protect, you can sign up for free. Then you have all the, uh, the marketing and everything from system IO on your website. So that's why I didn't want to go for the free version because I want you to have like a professional looking website that doesn't uh, have all the marketing stuff on it. But, um, so you're going to stay new users. So they're going to check every email you send out until you reach 500 emails. And it's not 500 emails, it's 500 emails sent out. So if you have a list of 10 people and you send one email, it's 10. So until it's 500 and it goes pretty fast, you stay in the new user. So everything is a little bit delayed, but then afterwards it's super easy. And um, here you can see the percentage of opened emails, spam reports. Also very important to be aware of if people spam or put you in the spam box, it's going to be a notification to System.io and they're going to keep an eye on you. So you don't want that. That's why it's so important to keep a clean contact list, to keep an eye on if people haven't uh, opened one of your emails in the last three to six months, if you send out a lot of newsletters, then better to remove them from the list because they're not interested anymore. And we don't want them to put you in the spam or, um, yeah. And then here's the average percentage of bounced emails. So you want to keep this as low as possible. A bounced email is an email that, you send out, but it didn't arrive. And that can be because the email uh, address was wrong. It can be because they have a problem with their inbox. Their inbox is full. It can be a lot of things, but you want to keep an eye on this because the moment your bounced email list is going up, it's again a trigger for System.io to say like, hey, what's going on there? Is this a spam? Because bounced emails are normally those lists that you buy from the internet with a lot of emails, and it's just not a valid source. And they want to protect that uh, emails are being sent out to um, to emails that uh, are actually not open to receive them. So yes, that is emails. Let's move on to your website. <laughs> 